Number 12 from the 2013 Revised Higher Maths, the proof question. And probably a little sigh of relief breathed here because it's one of those little two-part ones. If true, give a proof. If it's not, give a counterexample. So no long, nasty proof by contradiction or pegicidal proof by contrapositive. No. First one. If n is a multiple of 9, then so is n squared. Well, let's see if n is a multiple of 9. Then we can start off with this. Let n be, if it's a multiple of 9, 9 times some number k. Where, I'll say it over here, where k will be a natural number. And they're going for a natural number this time, rather than positive integers. Well, if that's the case, that means that n squared would have to be 9k squared, which is... You could say 81k squared, but I think I'll just go down to 9 times 9k squared, which is a multiple of 9, which is a multiple of 9, but it'd only be a multiple of 9. You can't just say 9 times anything's a multiple of 9. Only 9 times an integer is a multiple of 9. 9 times half isn't, for instance, which is a multiple of 9 since 9k squared will be a natural number. So now I can say that means that statement A is true. And part B, the converse of part A. If n squared is a multiple of 9, then so is n. Or is it? This will be the country example. All you need to do is look for a multiple of 9, which is a square, and then check its square root. Well, the first one there is there in front of you. 9. 9 is a square, and obviously a multiple of 9. Its square root, 3, isn't, so that would do. Or you could go for 36. So I'll just say here. Let n squared equal 9, then n equals 3. Remembering n's a natural number, not plus or minus 3. Then n equals 3, and I'll just make the statement. 3 is not a multiple of 9, To be a multiple, you have to be a whole number, a natural number, times it. 3 is not a multiple of 9, which means that statement B is false. Now I'll just put this wee note in. With counterexample, with counterexample, n equals 3. or your own choice of counterexample.